Good morning everybody! Today is our Photoshop tips and tricks for facade lighting. We are working with tips and tricks number 7 and number 6. The glowing effect and the linear fitting. Okay, so I have sample projects here right now and we're going to copy all of this effect in facade lighting. This is the actual installation and you can see those line of lights. And that is what we're going to copy today. Another example is, let me have one more example here that shows a line of light. Maybe this one, okay. You can uh, do the same like this. Or maybe this one, we can do the same like this but make sure that you know your fitting to be used because if you don't have the right fitting to be used you cannot achieve this kind of lighting effect so make sure you are familiar with your fittings another example here is for example this one so we're going to use the same effect in photoshop and uh, this is the fitting that is used in this project and you can see in the light here, it's so amazing. It's a line of light. Another example is here. So those line of light, you can also put it in the floor, not only on the facade. So yeah, looks amazing. Okay, so let's go now and start looking for a sample project. For example, I got this one. I will uh, use this project or picture as a sample for our facade lighting Photoshop and maybe another one is this one later and maybe this one later so let's go and start now with this one okay so okay i save now all the files that i've selected let's go and start working on this one so just right click and open with photoshop so I'm using now a Photoshop CS5. You can also use other versions, but I don't know the difference between CS4, 5, 6, or the newest version, but I think CS5 is um, the best one because I'm familiar with this one. So it's easy. It's like one, two, three, so don't be scared. So let's go and start now. First, keep this original picture as your background picture and just drag and drop it here in this small icon now you have two copies so preserve this one lock this one don't forget don't unlock it so next time you can have it as uh, you can still have the original file you can close this one now and uh, keep this um, new copy as your playing field so first you need to press ctrl l yep make our picture a little darker slide the bar here okay up to like maybe like that okay so this is fine now and then you can drag it more if you like but i think this one is fine now and press okay and then create a new layer and name this one double click on this one and name this one as line of light there you go and then all you have to do is just press this um, pen tool go and press this one and then okay if you can't see it just close this one now and open this one but make sure you are in the line of light the blue tab is in the line of light okay and then use the pen tool to create a line like this and then right click and stroke path and brush yes select the brush and then okay all right so let's see now you have your line of light okay i forgot before you do that make sure that your brush uh, press b or here brush uh, okay so I'm, i selected a chisel point brush so it's wrong i want a round brush so let's go and select the default brushes um, basic brushes okay so now I have a round brush and make the pixel like 5% or 5 pixel first 
and then let's go and delete this one for now because it's a wrong brush and then uh, control D to deselect again so let's go and use the pen tool and then point point right click and stroke path and then brush all right and another one to consider is make sure that your palette is white and the background will be whatever color you like so if you don't know how to click your palette just click the arrow like that make sure it's in the foreground not in the background because whatever is the foreground that is the color that the brush will select and then another one is on this side i again use the pen tool actually i can uh, make this one like a continuous one but i stop continuously working on it so just right click and stroke path now you have it okay so let's uh use this one for now and then go to your um another layer here and select this small tab uh at the bottom of your right side add layer style so select and then pick the outer glow now see the difference now and if i um, put the size of the outer glow you can see it like this all right so if you want to spread it more you can just reduce the screen or the opacity and then spread it more or just leave it like that like okay maybe this one so you need to understand the effect of your fitting not just by doing it like that because maybe your luminaire is so slim then it should be slimmer you can use a brush pixel as point uh, you can use a brush pixel of three or four only and for this one because it's too far then we can reduce the brush pixel now as maybe four just type four and four and enter then go to the pen tool again then click and then click and another one is click then right click stroke path and voila all right so that's how you do your linear light okay but make sure that uh, you know the size of your luminaire so it will not be so obvious that it's a um, photoshopped okay okay so let's go and open a new project the one we selected a while ago this one so right click open with photoshop and now we are we selected this one so again copy this one drag and new layer then turn off this one and then control l so what are we going to do is we will put line of lights on every slot of this wall or maybe highlight this one or maybe put some slot lights there okay so let's go and control l make it a little darker slider slide slide more make it dark all right so let's see it will look like that and then go and select uh, this tab again create a new layer a blank layer and then select the pen tool and then if you can't see it again go and turn on this background again and select for example we're planning to put a slot line of lights in every slots so either the slot itself or this groove so it depends on what you want to highlight so for example i want it inside the slot so i will select for example up to here and then right click stroke path then there you go and let's turn on the dark uh, night view and then we can see now the slot of light and then let's go and create a glowing effect on that so outer glow make the screen as uh, let's say 40 only and then the size of the glow is uh, okay let's make it uh, 15 only and the screen is say 25 okay there you go and for example we want to add more here so let's do it so pick the pen tool select it like that so we will create our oops it's not straight we will create our amazing effect on this facade stroke path there you go 
and for example we want to add more here and then stroke pad and then you go and then for example you want to highlight this window so let's reduce the size of our brush let's make it three because the father the picture it should be smaller so let's go now and select the pen tool again and then right click stroke pad then say okay and then skip skip there you go so now that's how you do your line of light okay so let's go and check for another sample so let's go to our folder and select this curve building so right click open with and photoshop and then now we have it here so let's expand it a little and then copy it as, as original copy there you go and then let's put a slider now Control l and make it darker there you go so that is enough okay and then since this is a curve line for example we are planning to put a line of light in between this um, slots of cladding so what we're going to do is just create a new layer and then make sure you are in the layer one a new layer that is where our okay let's name it double click on that line of light I forgot to name it before and then let's go and select the pen tool again so make sure you select the pen tool S click and then click but do not uh, release the mouse yet and drag it like okay so it's not following properly let's go back so pen tool one click and then another click but don't release your mouse yet and then drag it like that okay and then another one click but don't release it yet like that okay and then another one here click don't release it yet all right another one here click don't release it yet oops oops where is it now okay i think it's um oh oops okay there you go and then here let's click up to maybe here there you go and then just go and right click and stroke path and then say okay and let's turn on this background copy now you have your curve Ooh, what is this uh, okay it doesn't look good let's do it again so marquee and then delete and control D to deselect so let's do it again because it should be perfect again pen tool click don't release yet click again okay and then another one here all right okay and another one here okay and maybe here Oops. there you go and one here okay and just right click and stroke pad and then okay now you have your perfect glowing effect so don't forget to make it glow so just add a layer style outer glow and then reduce the screen into maybe 60 or just type 60 here and then spread the size into something else like this all right so if you want to continue it like here up to here because this is a bottom now but you can still add then you need to make your uh, brush pixel smaller so let's say for example let's make this brush two pixel and then go to the pen tool and for example you want to add 
uh, let's say you can see the line of light here then here okay and then another one here oops doesn't look right okay let's uh, escape one two okay and then three okay and then right click and then stroke and then say okay and then skip skip now you have your glowing line of light okay so that's it let's review so if you want to achieve this kind of lighting effects don't forget the pen tool and the glowing effect and yeah you can definitely have it this uh, lighting effect style is so easy in photoshop so yeah you can do like this and see you again later bye if you want to learn more about photoshop facade lighting design go to www.nrocolightingdesign.com and enroll now in our facade lighting design techniques online training see you